How's it going guys? It's your boy Chef Willie back with another video, but this video is a little different. This is a cooking video. Probably like, hey, you're a guy, you don't know how to cook. Hey man, a lot of guys know how to cook. I'm one of them, your boy Gordon Ramsay. Ain't got nothing on me. I've been requested to show you guys how to make some langostinos. Last time I put it on Snapchat, a lot of people asking me how I did it and everything. Follow everything I do. Step by step, don't miss any step, and you're gonna get one of the best langostinos in the world. Make sure you guys subscribe first. All right, let's get to it. All right, so these are the langostinos that I buy. Two pounds, twenty-three dollars. Very cheap. La pescadilla, right? Se llama? Pescadilla. Pescadilla. I don't know. Look it up. Uh, it's a seafood place. Uh, twenty-three dollars. Really good. It's two pounds. So we will go ahead and cut it up. Yeah, it's like literally right up uh, next to Cicero. Look it up on Google. And uh, they saw the, the bags of langostinos. Ay, papa. Que mas quieres? All right, so first off, you gotta do this. Excuse my little ass cutting board. Uh, <laughs> this is small as hell, but it works. Uh, cut off all the, the legs to the prawns. So you say, you say, you say langostinos in English, no? Prawns? Prawns. 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 But yeah, take off all the legs porque nomás estorban and no sirven para nada. They don't even have flavor neither. So go ahead, do all that for all of them. I, I usually like doing them when they're frozen porque it's easier to do porque si los dejas que se descongelen and when you cut them, man, they look nasty. Oh, another thing, be careful when you're cutting these things, man, because this thing, they're sharp. They're sharp. And if you don't got gloves or something, like me, it could easily cut you. Alright, so once you have them all basically semi-clean, don't take out this legs. This like completes the dish, right? Like, yeah. si no tiene esto, entonces no son langostinos. So basically, you grab them, put the knife, make sure it's a sharp-ass blade. So yeah, you go ahead and stick the knife. If you don't like seeing this, I don't know what to tell y'all. But you cut them in half, put the blade down. And then, there you go. Basically, you want to make sure and cut them as half as possible. And you see, that's why you don't want to make sure they they don't unfreeze completely because then this becomes all gooey and nasty. So go ahead and do that to all of them. Stick the knife in the middle, just below the head. And like that. Man, these are going to be so bomb. Especially when you have a hangover. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all of them. All right guys, once you cut them in half, you should have something that looks like this. Right now you're probably saying, hey, this is disgusting. Yeah, you're right, it does look nasty as hell, but man, once they're done, fire. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and turn on the heat. Put it on low, porque lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, melt some butter, man. This is the key, butter right here. This is the one I buy. 199 really good butter uh, you want to use two butter sticks I'm telling y'all man this recipe is so easy and so good anybody could do this anybody literally go ahead and put two butter sticks and you want to put it on low heat because if you put it on high heat Lego butter says it like bitter and you don't want that I'm ruining your plate so go ahead let that melt by itself Oh, by the way, just so you guys know, these are, se dicen langostinos estilo Nayaret. Nayarit. No sé por qué, and to be honest, I don't care. I just know that they taste so good. Mm, I remember the first time I did them, everybody loved them. They end up real juicy. Ya me está dando hambre. Right now with some Netflix to chill and some mm. langostinos. I recommend, ¿cómo se llama? Immigration Nation. Yes. Check it out on Netflix, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys seen it. Se llama Immigration, Immigration Nation. Really good, man. Be ready with some, like, um, Kleenex next to you. Some wipes. Especially for the females. Yeah, it's really That was sad. balling my ass out. <laughs> okay, once it's kind of like semi-melted or whatever, you want to go ahead and add two tablespoons of oil. You know us Mexicans, we gotta go big, you know? <laughs> so basically two tablespoons of aceite. I'm telling y'all, make sure you do this. Oh, se pasó poquito, pero está bien. No problema, no es el fin del mundo. Once it's all melted, entonces this is where the good stuff come in. Make sure you put all the langostinos in. Be careful that it don't splash and bring yourself, you know? 
I'm not responsible for that. And then go ahead and stir it. I like to do this. Ves como esto está en la mitad? I like to grab this and then put that put that at the bottom. Yeah, para que caigan el butter. Oh my god. Lo que es butter y garlic? So good, man. Yes. Gar garlic is so good for you too. All right, guys. So after two minutes, a uh, minute and a half or two minutes, you're gonna go ahead and put up the heat to roughly medium. Yeah, don't put it on high. Medium para que ya se empiece a cocinar todo bien. Se ven feo, ¿verdad? Yeah, like right now they look nasty. They're like disgusting. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Ah, pero cuando estén, ¿cómo estás ahí? Duro, mm. duro comiendo. Warning, just a warning for people. <laughs> they come out pretty spicy. Not too spicy, though. You know me. I don't like spicy things. I can handle it. So if I can handle it, I think everybody else can handle it. I want them to turn completely orange. So just let them rest. Let the fire do this thing. All right, guys. So basically, ya cuando estén así, pinkish, orangey, whatever you want to call it, this color, uh, you're going to go ahead and add the seasonings. Um, basically, this seasonings is for two pounds of langostinos. So if you want to make four pounds, you basically just double the recipe. Easy as that. <laughs> but the seasonings I use for this, uh, go ahead and bring down the heat to low again. Because we don't want this to burn. So bring it to low. And the seasonings that we use, that I use, is this one right here. Uh, se llama langostino pescado. Uh, sazón para mariscos. This is really good. So we want two ounces of this, and that's gonna be two ounces of this other seasoning. This is really good too. Ahí dice sazón para mariscos, estilo Nayaret. All right, we're gonna go ahead and spread it evenly too. Go ahead and start stirring it right away. And man, if only you guys could smell this, right? Oh, it smells so good. You wanna go ahead and mix everything. Make sure everything's well mixed. All right, so once they're like that, you want to go ahead and add some garlic powder. Just poquito. Basically like a, let's say one teaspoon. The garlic powder. And then we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of chopped garlic and minced garlic. So it's going to be one tablespoon of this. And also, una mitad de un limón. Half lemon and everything. Mm. Then just a little bit of the other half. You don't want to put too much lemon. You don't want it to be tasting nothing like just lemon sour. So go ahead and stir it. And it's already getting that color, that look of langostinos. Ahora si se ve rico, verdad, canicos? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it looks and then this is my secret. Secret touch. I, I like tapatio, but you can add, add, basically add whatever sauce, hot sauce you like. I like to put tapatio because it's spicy and it takes like a little bit of valentina. But this is uh, just como al gusto. This is para que le dé extra flavor. And then I like putting this one, valentina, the yellow one. Not the black one, that was too hot. But that's it, just al gusto. Go ahead and add some of that. Stir it up again. Stir up everything. Make sure you mix everything well. I'm telling you, man, this is so easy, so easy. Anybody could do this. Yeah, no mas, yeah, no mas, papa. Oh, All right, and then for the final touch, you grab one onion, purple. You grab two pieces like this, and um, all you gotta do is shake that into this. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, support your boy, yo chef. <laughs> uh, leave a comment below. If you actually tried it, is si it quedó así como profesional como el mío? Give me to 100 subscribers, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway of 100 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe for that. Yeah, ya no le pagas. Turn off the heat, let it rest, let it sit. Continue shaking, make sure everything's mixed well. Look at that. That's so rico, ¿verdad? Delicious. Esto y una michelada al lado? Yeah. Tender meat. Mmm. Turn on the bell notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And um, if you did try it out, put down in the comment section below how como te quedó, you know. Yeah, that's fire. Mm -hmm. A ver, yeah, comete algo. 
Y me dejaste que lo sirviera en un plato y ya estás aquí atacando. 